Elisa Esquiero was severely felled by the system, which resulted in her death by the hands of her mother, her stepfather, in 1996 at six years old. Elisa's mother, Awilda Lopez, was an addict during her pregnancy, which resulted in Elisa being born addicted to crack. Elisa was placed in the custody of her father, Gustavo. She went to a private school and she was a pretty happy child. Her mother got clean sometime after that and was granted visitation rights. But every time she would return home from her mom's house, her father and teachers noticed that she would be covered in multiple bruises. She also had injuries on her privates, started to wet the bed, and lost control of her bowels. Her father and teachers both reported on different occasions that Elisa was being abused at her mother's house. Her father tried to end the visitations with her mother, but the court said the mother could see Elisa as long as she promised not to abuse her anymore. Gustavo then purchased tickets for him and Elisa to relocate to Cuba where he was born, but the day they were supposed to leave, Gustavo was hospitalized and passed away from lung cancer, and Elisa's mother filed for full custody. But Gustavo's cousin Elsa fought for custody as well. Members of the school board even went to the court hearings and told the judge and even wrote him letters saying that Elisa was being abused at her mother's house. The custody battle lasted four months and Elisa's mother was granted full custody. Owilda started using drugs again and would lock Elisa up in cabinets and in her room for days at a time. Elisa had five other siblings in the house, but Owilda told her five other children that Elisa was possessed by the devil and not to contact her. She also cut off all of Elisa's hair. She was then placed in a different school and teachers there reported bruises on her. But the authorities said there was still a lack of evidence and no investigation happened. Awoda then removed Elisa from school. She was then locked in her bedroom 24-7 and only had her own waist to eat. Her mother's boyfriend, Carlos Lopez, abused her physically and sexually multiple times. Their neighbors had even reported hearing Elisa scream for help, but still no investigation happened. In November 1995, Awoda noticed a large amount of drool from Alicia's mouth and nose, which was later found to be brain fluid. Awoda called her sister and stated in her own words that Alicia was acting like a retard in bed. Her sister told her to take her to the hospital, which she did not. The next morning, Awoda invited her neighbor over for her opinion on Alicia, which she described her as lifeless. Her neighbor called 911 and she was finally arrested. It was found that Awoda threw Alicia headfirst into a concrete wall two days before calling her sister. Alicia had died in her room alone. Her autopsy showed that she had multiple injuries from head to toe and broken bones almost piercing the skin. Awoda's next parole hearing is in 2022. And her boyfriend Carlos was sentenced to three years, having been arrested a week before her death on different charges.